This year marks 50 years since one of the deadliest attacks of the Troubles and the deadliest act of terrorism to occur in England between the Second World War and the 2005 London bombings. On the 9th of the 21st of November 1974, two bombs exploded in two Birmingham pubs. The first bomb went off in the Mulberry Bush at the Rotunda, then at the Tavern in the Town in New Street. The blasts killed 21 people and injured 182 others. Six men were later wrongly convicted of the bombings and jailed for life, but released 16 years later when their convictions were quashed by the Court of Appeal. Only a few minutes prior to the attacks, an unknown man with a distinct Irish accent phoned the Birmingham Post and Mail newspaper. The call was answered by operator Ian Cropper. Birmingham Post and Mail. There is a bomb planted at the rotunda. There is a bomb planted in New Street at the tax office. This is double X. Double X was the IRA code word given to authenticate any warning call The caller failed to name the pubs in which the bombs had been planted and didn't leave enough time for action to be taken to save the people inside the venues. The bombing stoked considerable anti-Irish sentiment in Birmingham, which then had an Irish community of 100,000 people. Irish people were ostracised from public places and subjected to physical assaults, verbal abuse and death threats. Today, Birmingham looks very different. Although the pubs have changed to other retailers, the legacy of the attacks lives on in other ways. Brummies have passed these trees countless times without knowing the significance they hold. These trees, unveiled in 2018, bear the names of the 21 victims killed in the Birmingham pub bombings. In Pigeon Park, this memorial stone bears the names of the 21 victims. 